Hello there, welcome to the channel. It's me, the White Seer, playing some more of Life and Land. Hope you are having a great day today. We are just currently in the town of Searston here, um, and I realise we have zero free beds available for people. So we are going to uh, do something about that. Um, and we did free up this little bit of land over here um, by removing uh, the soaring spot actually and putting it up here. Um, so I think we are going to build um, a couple of large cabins, large houses, they called big cabins, big cabins. Um, I'm going to set these back against the rocks. Do you know what, we might just be a little bit ambitious here and put three in. And that will keep these guys busy whilst we uh, attend to the tablelands situation. Um, so that that should keep these guys going. Um, we're just about to head into spring. I wouldn't be surprised if it ticks over actually. Um, just throughout this evening. Let's, uh, there we go. So we're in spring here now. So this should be nice and abundant and fertile and all that kind of stuff. Um, we do need to think about the next steps for these guys. Um, probably going to go for a glass works here. Seems to be the next logical thing to make. Um, and I might put this down, start filling this gap down here a little bit. Um, we could put that just in here. Riverside glass works, sounds fun. Sounds good. We can't build roads over this bit here in the corner for some reason. Well, we know why, because there's a river there. But it's a corner, we can't we can't go over corners. So I'm gonna put the glassworks right here. Um that actually requires coal. So we would also need a charcoal pile, which turns sticks, leaves, grass, that kind of stuff into into coal. So we're going to pop one of these down, and I think actually, if this is all going to be um, wood and stuff like that, this up here would be a really nice spot for that. So let's pop that in there, and that's going to keep these guys busy for a little while. Whilst they're making that, we can head on over to the table and see what our progress is like over here. So we're waiting on the stonemason shop up here to be made and the smelter. Um, we've got a farm being walled off, so there's plenty of stuff going on there. Um, and then we are just kind of waiting for more people over here. Um, let's just zoom into morning. I don't know if you've noticed, but I was playing this on a three times speed. We're now on five times speed, um, just because I think that we are waiting. We're just waiting for things to happen. Can I put a road in there? right there. Can we put a, that part on a road? That's not going to ruin my building, is it? Oh, here comes someone. It's certainly not. Right to the door, look. Okay, so we can actually start making... or well, turning wood into copper ore. So we wouldn't ask them to smell tin or lead here, because there's no mine here. Um, okay, so we're kind of just in need of people now. Um, waiting for these kids to grow up and turn into workers. Now, they're a little slow, because probably because we don't actually have any food. So, um, the other thing we want to think about is what kind of farm we want to have here. Um, I'm a big fan of wheat farms because most people eat wheat um, but I'm quite I'd be quite willing to kind of change things up here a little bit because obviously with wheat we need to then grind it then we need to bake the bread it's a three it's a three worker thing so I think we'll do that and then we'll make garden beds over here Uh, around this bit so that's all garden beds and then I think because it's 
water use. I think we'll do cacti and the rest. And we'll farm a good mixture. What we might do is if we can live off the cactus here, we can um, send. Oops, there's already a cacti on that square. Done, done. Um, we could send the grain back to the capital because they're probably going to get more use out of it. So that's the plans for the farm here. We'll take somebody off or two people off of the foraging place as soon as we get that going because obviously they are foraging the same stuff that we're going to be farming. What we'd like to do now as well is get this done. I think this should take priority over anything else because then we can get rid of this and actually that'd be more efficient. Okay, each one of these is going to take two roots. We do have quite a bit of those. Cereal grains and stuff like that, so we are going to need to mill. Um, so let's get a hand mill built as well. And then we'll probably need a simple bread oven. Which we'll put next door. And then I need people. <laughs> there's no two ways about it, we need people here. Um, so, with that in mind, let's try to see and see if there's people, anyone available. Anyone without jobs that's old enough to work. Doesn't look like it at the moment. But that won't take long. That won't take long. I think their age might be measured in months, or seasons rather, rather than. Um, years. Uh, yeah, so these guys are going at it. We are... Oh wow, we are getting... We are getting stuff built, for sure. Oh, we need stone blocks. We need stone blocks for that. Okay, these guys are just literally just hewing stones right now. Okay. That's going to take some time. That is going to take some time. As is this. This is an ambitious farm. But we are ambitious people. So, let's, uh, let's struggle through. Actually, is there a time difference? Just want to make sure. Let's stop this bang on 8 o'clock. There is not. Okay. I just I did wonder. I just wondered whether there was a time difference between the two places. You know, it may well be that the table lands could send some stone back, cut some blocks up here. Um, we've got quite a lot of stone up here. We just we just need a workforce. I think our little mixed use farm here is going to be kind of fun. And I think we can probably put another one in the, over the other side here and just fill in fill in all the gaps. See what I mean? Like we can put, I don't know. Like put a farm, I don't know, over here. And it kind of, you know, increases the size. I'd love to cover this little bit of the back here, but I don't think we'd be able to do that without completely I don't know, we could. We could put another farm in. I think that area at the back's maybe lost. It's not worth putting one in there. You get better coverage. Stick the, stick one up on the top here. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> Road it out. Yeah, might be fun. Do we have any fish in here? No desert fish. We do have rats. Maybe I should get a hunter. I mean, I can't can't spare the workforce at the moment. This 
poor Tablelands guys, they're not getting a day off. Um, got them rocks though. So we've got 1600 gold, which means we are still selling stuff. Um, I have no idea what we're selling. This has got seven planks remaining. Do we have any planks that we can ask for? We have one. Okay. So, not really. That's a shame. I wonder how our relationships with the uh, Hockdorf are going along here. Uh, work together and help each other out. Um, oh, okay, we're trying to get... I mean, that's 200 planks. They can, they can kind of wait for that. And then we'll be looking at the free trade. I wonder if the... I wonder if the um, intention here was for us to... Give them a bronze tool. Give them a thousand fruits. And then we get their... We get their oasis. Do we think that's what the intention of the game actually was? Rather than to try and settle the land ourselves? Um, I mean, we could try and do that with the others. 150 planks, 200 planks, 20 iron tools. See, 200 exotic fruits, we're in the right place to get those exotic fruits. We settled it ourselves. We're taming this place ourselves. We're, we're in the valley. We're hardy, hardy, hardy people. Hardy ha? <laughs> Did I just say that? Interesting. Alright, let's pop back. Just make sure the mothership is still okay. Seems to be fine here. Uh, we are working on these. Just need the stone up by the looks of things. 29 babies now. So if I just pick a place here and say, have I got anyone to work? The answer is no. Because what I might do is anyone extra that comes here, I might send them to the Tablelands. Just to help grow this place a touch. Are we actually building any of these farms yet? Or walls? We're not. This farm's sitting there doing nothing. Well, Simon's actually working in the farm. Uh, and there's nothing actually for Simon to do here. I'd rather Simon was off building or doing something. Who's that? Annika. Then Simon's probably going to go work somewhere else. Yeah, he's back in the marketplace. I mean, okay, maybe, maybe we will have Simon in doing two jobs because there's not a lot to do at the marketplace right now. Two more planks. Two more little planks and we'll have a quarry. I guess I think what we'll do is we'll go into trade in here and we will stop questing stone now. Because we have enough here. A few rags as well. Should we build a? Um, another cabin. I set it up, but we are going to low priority that. Ok, 
Okay. Is that another plank? One more to go. Who's going to be our champion? I think that's it. No? Oh. I'm waiting for somebody to collect. Here it comes. Dennis. Go on, Dennis. We're watching you. Do it. Yes, Dennis. What a legend. Alright. Come on. Uh, I actually don't need that one. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Who have we got working in here? Catalina. There we go. And your activities are to hew stones. Brand new place of work for you. Living the dream. Right, so that's kind of stone production here sorted. We could probably just build this, right? The hand mill. Let's go back to Sirston. We need people. We could actually, thinking about it, the Tablelands have 18 stone available. <laughs> we could actually request it back. Um, from the Tablelands to Searston. Let's have 10 stone sent back now. Okay. So marketplace now should be receiving stone, or will be in the morning. Hopefully. There we go. There's 10 stone right there. I'm hoping that's going to get taken straight over to these big cabins. Uh, that's all we need actually for those. And then this thing is, well, I mean, we're waiting for stone blocks, so I need to not build anything for a while. Um, Fine. This, we're still waiting for the farm to get sorted. I think we're building other things. Oh, we are building the walls around. Oh, we just sent all of our stone away. Each one of these walls is one stone. That's not a problem, though, because we'll work pretty quick. As soon as that's done, they'll probably start planting. And then hopefully we'll have a decent supply of food coming in. Kind of just about holding their own over here. somebody over here on this on this smelter yeah I'm, I was thinking shall I transfer some more stone back but actually we need it so I'm not going to it's a hell of a walk in the heat this is summer as well in the tablelands Get another wall over here built. Let's 
So we could wear this river. Just thinking we could wear the river here. And it should increase the groundwater over here. Just wondering whether we should do that. Seem to have stalled building anything. I think I might take a bit of a risk here. Um, let's send a hundred bread, and then I'm going to kick Bridget out of here. And I'm not going to give Bridget a job. Just going to see if building increases. Or the rate of building. Oh, hang on. Flying into the next day here. No. No jobs, Bridget. Get out. You're fired. Just making sure there's nothing for her to go work in. Yeah, unemployed one. Good. What I want her to do is build stuff. No, she's collecting stuff. Why? Build stuff. We have five stone here, so that's five five walls that should be getting built. I need to high priority all the walls. If I do, that, that kind of sucks. Just to get them built. Okay, we'll do it if we have to. I'm not happy about it. I think we had to do this for the for the walls in uh, Sirston as well, actually. Gotta be a better way to select all the walls. Getting there. Oh, what's that? Catalina has died from the heat. sucks I needed her um we have water here how do we how do we manage the heat I mean we can change the schedule but that doesn't um I suppose we can change the schedule let them work slightly less per day.
God, are we not all the way around yet? Surely this is it. Right, okay, good. Right, Catalina's died. She was working up here in the blistering sunshine. Um, I'm gonna have to hire Bridget now. Because uh, we need we need this. Um, so if I go into the schedule here, working time per day doesn't say like keep out the sun or anything like that. Do we think we'd be maybe okay with ten hours? They're gonna be working Sundays for sure. She died working in the heat at 5 a.m. Catalina, dead. Okay, it's okay for her to be hot. She's dead. <laughs> um, so we need a well as well. A well as well. Uh, we are going to need one. Um, so I guess we'll stick that here. Okay, let's quickly pop back to citizen. I have one unemployed person. Okay, you are transferring that unemployed person. Where's that unemployed person? It's in alphabetical. Okay. Hang on. Wilkin. Wilkin. Eight. So they can go to work on their eight. Right. Perfect. This place is all fine, isn't it? It's just carrying on doing stuff. We're still kind of producing stone, waiting for more cabins. Okay, we should be receiving somebody who's unemployed. Catalina's dead. We can't employ her, she's dead. Why is she still here? Death is near. She's dead. She's actually dead, she's not unemployed. She's dead. <laughs> um, I mean, can we send her back? Catalina, there she is. Uh, okay, we're sending Catalina back. I wonder if she'll magically be alive when she gets there. That'd be pretty epic. So it is summer, everyone's hot. Um, we probably need to kind of make this well a uh, an emergency thing. Okay, we have stone, so we are... Now stoning, walling. Yeah, doing this. The gates here we need bronze parts for and stone blocks, so we'll have to wait for those gates. Wonder if we can buy anyone's um, selling stone blocks. No one's selling stone blocks. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to call that the uh, end of this episode. 
thank you for joining me for some more of Life and Land. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, by the way, your support for watching the series is greatly appreciated. Feel free to uh, pop us a, a like or even a subscribe to get future content, obviously. We're going to be playing this game a bit. I want to try and inhabit all five maps on here. There may be others, I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, trying to build this up so that we can basically conquer each biome and uh, become completely self-sufficient and take over all these other factions as well. Um, yeah, so we'll be playing it for a bit. Um, I look forward to seeing you around for the next episode. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay safe out there.